Oh, hi guys! Guy Kishinani of Let's Play Star Wars and I See Old Republic. In the last episode, we made it here to Corbin. Like, after a false start, technically. <laughs> and, uh, well, I left off here. Right before we got to the settlement. So, why don't we get into the settlement? Settlement. Settlement, 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 settlement. Bree! Greetings! Say, you, aren't you the one who won that super race on Manon? I'm a big fan. Huh. You know, this is new to me, because I've never actually done the swoop race on Manon, so... Haha! <laughs> uh, what do you got? Uh... Well, I shouldn't have skipped that. Why so? There are a lot of Sith on this planet. This is where they come to study. Obnoxious brats, the lot of them. <laughs> Just between you and me, I never understand why everyone thinks Darkseid and Hooligan should be the same thing. But they are definitely dangerous, so that's why you'll probably need weapons. Eh, not that there'll be much help. Uh, the Mandalorian raiders occasionally drop by, and you need to get rid of some extras that they can't sell in civilized systems. He treat me well, I treat them well. It works out. So if you need weapons, and you probably will, this is the place. Alright, what do you got? Uh, cart warblade. Uh, Cassus Fett. Huh, a Fett. Uh, it's kind of. It's this. Sonic pistol. All right, I guess. Uh, d -d 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 grenades and yeah, mines. We don't care. All right. Uh, well, there could be a shop here or two. That, Look oh. here, my dear friends. Oh we hi. Some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. That's because they are. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. <laughs> <laughs> Smart mouth newcomers to boot. Well, so far I'm not regretting bringing Ganders along. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are, are Sith. Quite okay. literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? Revan? Do I have a Revan option? I don't have a Revan option. Meh. Uh, you can fail, but you can try. <laughs> uh, there's no need for hostilities. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? Not enough to save your sorry self. Oh, I was going to go with five. Fool. <laughs> let's do it, Lasha. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. Revan what do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh. And we might just consider allowing you to live. Please, Revan Option. Revan Option! <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go for it. <laughs> Why not? Ha! <laughs> Too funny. Good joke, I really end up Revan, guys. <laughs> Good one! Yes, guys, I'm being I seriously. That wasn't too bad. All right, See, then, like, they friend. don't treat you seriously. As you were asked. Perhaps we like, you can, you can pretty much go into the middle of a crowded room shout, I'm Revan! And no one will believe you. They won't give a shit. <laughs> it's kind of tragic. Like, the only people that actually really care about you being Revan are people who actually know what Revan is. Or, you know, actually know who Revan is. Uh... Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on the Wien, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. Oh yeah, I forgot this about that. This the use of Wookiee labor <laughs> considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Yeah, I sure bet the Wookiees would hate to see you go. Well, certainly. Now they are doomed to remain savages forever. Or possibly become extinct. Very sad. Now then, <laughs> little does he know. Uh, uh, do I really want to waste any more time? Certainly. Let's see. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm in. leaving. You're wasting my time, or you're going to. I can tell already. There's nothing in here. Uh, let's see. Ooh, prospective Sith. Hello. Something you need? Uh, nobody you? you need to know. I'm just here to try to. All right. Why would you why? want to get in? Why? That's really a dumb question. To become a Sith, of course. To wield the greatest power in the galaxy. Uh, why not the Jedi? Ha! They're weaklings. Not worth anyone's attention. 
It's the Sith that are going to conquer the galaxy. You know what? I, I leave that one guy because I didn't want to waste conversation, but now I'm talking to this guy. <laughs> uh, how do you get in, though? Well, you have to impress be one of the Sith. The final decision rests with Uthura Ban, however. She's the one who decides exactly which of us get into the Academy or not. I've been hanging out hoping she'll come by and notice me, to be honest. Where is she? Usually she's in the Academy. But sometimes she comes out into the colony to look for prospects. If she's in the colony, she can usually be found in the cantina, but not always. She's one of the most powerful Sith in the academy, I hear. Interesting. Uh, I think we're done here. Yeah, go on. Alright, so that... Yeah, there we go, journal entry. That pretty much tells us where, what we have to do in order to get into the Sith. Find this Euthra person. You know, you can mispronounce it just a tiny bit. Euthra, urethra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you the human. You're the one following the Evan Hawk now. I saw you disembarking here earlier. Uh, yes, it's my ship. Says so. Well, you can tell Davik that my people are splitting plasma over this. We've been waiting to. Oh, God. I rubbed my eye. Now I can't see. Um, I suppose we should be grateful that the ship survived terrorists at all, though, right? Anyway, hand it over and let's finish this. Wait, hand what over? Wait a minute, you don't work for Davik? Just how is it you happen to be flying the Ebonhawk anyway? Uh, extended loan. Well, actually, I killed him. <laughs> well, when a planet explodes, you gotta expect a few changes. Davik's dead, hey? Maybe you can still help me with something. We had arranged for several kilograms of spice to be shipped to us here on the Ebon Hawk. Perhaps Davik left it on board? I suspect if it is, it'd be a container we gave him, locked in requiring a code. I have yeah, seen such a thing, human. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I could take a look. Excellent. Set the code on the container to red 47. When you get the spice, bring it to me here. I'll wait for you. Alright, I could deal with that now. That's one of the many side quests supposedly in Corbin, but... I'm not. There's the exit, so I want to go in here. Uh, you? I assume this guy's a pause player just because of all the things. Euthra's not in Would here. You Euthra, you hey. Are you already open that hawk? Or it's like it's on, at least. I'm honored to meet you. I am Mika Dorn, manager of this establishment. Is there something you need, Cynthia? Your owner, Devin Hawk, is always welcome in the Dredge Day Cantina. Oh, you're the guy! Huh, I didn't realize that. Yes, to the right buyer. Traditionally, the owner of the Ebonhawk has been in contact for all my transactions, but in the past, the owner has always been affiliated with the exchange. That is why Zaya Grom did not approach you earlier. We had no idea who you were or who we wanted to do business with you. Of course, all that's changed now, Lord Revan. See, this guy gets it. <laughs> Glad you've seen the light. Uh, yeah. Light? A fine chest. Though it contains a crystal of truth. We have allied with you in this conflict, and we trust you will remember us once your victory is yours, Revan. Alright, what you got? Yes, yeah, so let's start the business. So carry with the rarest weapons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah let's just see what you got, please. Okay, there we go. Ooh, damn, starting off strong. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that has a lot of stuff on it. Uh, he does have some good. Th yeah, there's my visor right there, and five strength plus four all. Jeez, this guy has good stuff. I have to, I have to admit, this guy really has some good stuff. Oh, now it's crap. All right. Uh, yeah, it's not here. Maybe we have to go outside. Yeah, because you you us supposed to be in the um, cantina. I probably do have to go outside and then come back in. Oh damn, you go straight to the Sith account. Right, I keep I keep thinking whatever. I'm more familiar with uh, Kotor 2's Corbin than Kotor 1's. It's widely different. Trust me on that one. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. All right, so it's an interesting planet. It's kind of a wasteland volcanic thing, but I mean, it doesn't look half bad, honestly. Uh, is there items over here? There is. Huh. Uh, just one computer spike, and that's it. It's fantastic. Let's go introduce ourselves to the Sith Academy. Like, interesting statues. That one's broken. 
And those guys don't look like they're having very much fun. Uh, hey, guy. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Uh, you want to sit with me, Kenny? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Thank you. Obviously death, however, since I asked you to leave. Hey, technically I was actually born no, you death, may not. but that's another I'm tale for another time. I'm myself and I'm not going to miss any of the fun. Eh. Alright, fine. Maybe you can help me. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that won't work. Uh, you must sure. be admitted to the or Academy. Whatever. That decision must be made by us. The final decision, however... I guess this is where you're supposed to find it out. So I assume that if I go in back into the settlement now, then she'll pop up. So then you're supposed to do that. Uh, is there anything? Yes, there is. Sweet. A repair kit. <laughs> oh, is... Oh, no, I was relabeling the same thing. Alright. Well, a repair kit's a repair kit. Those are a little bit harder to find than health kits. So, backtracking! Normally a very annoying thing in, the, in most of the games, but this game... Eh. <laughs> It's not much of a fat track, let's be honest. I don't know, I feel like this game kind of handles fat tracking well. In the few cases that it does do it. And, uh, yes. She is back here, alright. I was actually right, it was actually on this side. Huh. Oh, I is love, I love how she looks, too. I love her tattoos. Make it good for I have little patience. Uh... Are you Uther Bond? You are far from the first Jedi who was coming here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Eh. Are you Uther Bond? I am. Obviously, you have been told of me. Is it your desire then to train at the Academy? Do you wish to become a Sith human? Yeah. <laughs> uh, why would I want to join the Sith? <laughs> An interesting question, and not one I hear often. For most, the benefits of becoming a Sith are quite obvious. We wield ultimate power. Yeah, I thought she was laughing the entire time. Too. To be a Sith, funny. to <laughs> taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. Uh, a lot of hopefuls here end up dead. That doesn't seem glorious. We make no apologies for the weak. If you cannot clench your fist and know when the moment comes to strike, there is no place for you amongst us. Of those who come to train, those who are weak return home. If they are both weak and foolish, they die. But it was their choice to come. And what about the Jedi? Hide-bound relics who burden themselves with tradition and with the protection of the weak and ungrateful. They are pitiful and misguided. Why would you take a gift as glorious as the Force and squander it? Weaken yourself deliberately and shackle yourself to outdated mores. Our gift has made us superior. It is our rightful place to rule. How can any deny that? Yet the Jedi do so, and call us evil because we do not. Uh, you don't consider yourself evil? Is the Sarkath beast who dominates his jungle evil? The Tukata who leaps on the squell bug for the kill? These are things of nature, of the universe. We are no different from this. The Force is part of the universe, part of the same laws. We were gifted to set us above the rest. To deny nature is foolish. Uh, let's see. Did it, you serve the dark side of the Force, aren't you? It is the Jedi who serve the Force, trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force serves us. We shape it to our will. We are its master. The Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. Uh, that says evil, it corrupt. Corruption is a word the pitiful use to describe the natural longing for power that they deny. Evil is a word trumpeted by the weak to ease their heart. It is true that the Force exacts a physical toll on some, but not a single one of them has ever regretted it. Anything else you hear is propaganda. See, like, this is why I like this game so much, because it actually kind of debates the, like, philosophies you know of the, the uh, Malik the Jedi is the side. Of us. It's kind and of the strongest interesting. always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard. Always lean for the kill. We promote it. 
For through this, the Sith are stronger. You kill each other. <laughs> if a Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare, or turn tail and run. Alright, let's see. No, no, no. I see. I you You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? Uh, yes, I want to join this Sith. Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Gee, I Obviously wonder what you are it a Jedi, is. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Uh, technically not very little. Uh, not very much. Uh... Oh, so geez. Yeah, let's go with that. As I thought, how interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Um, uh, yes. <laughs> Force was fade. I wonder if that would work. Is it do I dominate? Um, uh... Do I... I don't know if... Why may require a higher persuasion oh, check. Good. It still works. Exactly. Okay, never mind. I imagine that's before. if you want to keep the good points. I will take like the light the side academy, points. And we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. Hmm? These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume. What? No, they're my slaves. Don't worry about them. <laughs> Fair enough. So long as they do not destroy your training off. or cause Move any trouble. Me. Are you ready to go to the academy then? Uh, yeah. Why not? Then let us I don't leave. really care about that spice the master thing. Of the academy awaits it you. can be done later. And... Cutscene? Oh no, it's gonna load. Then cutscene! Okay. Alright, so yeah, like that, we're in. <laughs> easier said than... Well, easier done than said, really. <laughs> Alright, think I might be in trouble here. Or is everyone just Greetings, prospective oh, okay. students. <laughs> he has a cool tattoo as well. Entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. <laughs> Tell me, human. What do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? Uh, uh let's see. That's neutral. Uh, let's play ball. An honest answer. One I would expect from anyone who's been exposed to those sad relics amongst the Jedi. As always, young human, the truth is not quite so simple. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi... I say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too, too quick, too e easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. Mm. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. <laughs> See, like, they, they make good arguments. They actually make legitimate good arguments for the, being a Sith. But then they go, like... You had best <laughs> gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy. 
or you will not last. <sighs> and you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Uh, what about my friends, though? Your slaves. They are irrelevant. All right. They may accompany you so long as they do not interfere with us or with your training. Are you ready okay, or so not, Okay, so we can keep them. One? That's good news. Uh... Nah, screw it. The video is long enough anyway. I can see into your heart, young human. And I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, <laughs> remains to be seen. If now only then, you knew. All of the five recruits have shown a degree of facility. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of before. funny. Just you like knowing that you're Darth Revan and then people shit. say this stuff to you. Only one of you, however, will succeed. Oh, right. Now the main the one gimmick who about succeeds this place. will be admitted to the academy as a full Sith. See, like, we're not technically Sith yet. We're technically apprentices, but we're not actual survive. Sith. Dark Jedi my and pupil, stuff. Uthura, Why actually, we might be technically Jedi. be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. Uh -huh. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, mm -hmm. gain enough prestige to be. Yeah, selected. there's the word there. What is an act of worth? You yes, that pointless little yourselves. marker of Remember how much you play you Call of Duty. We have to earn it. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith. And tell me of it. Yeah, we have to do rewarded. one of those questions again. <laughs> the rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies is here. I feel he says dark side just as a kind of a sarcastic, ironic kind of thing. Hey, welcome to the dark side. We have cookies. <laughs> oh, lame jokes aside. I'm going to end it off here, so... <clears throat> We'll find out about the Sith later, but for now, this is Guy Christian 9, Star Wars, that's the old Republic! And... Uh... No, okay. That's not where it is. Anyways, yeah, next episode, we're gonna start exploring the Sith Academy. Should be fun. See you then.